lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. I'm going to start by giving all the praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechakodash. The double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Shabbat Shalom, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David. It's got through all the four corners of the earth. And I want to just show y'all this disturbing ass clip of uh, this uh, woman speaking at this TED talk trying to justify pedophilia. So y'all listen real quick, man. This is vexing. According to current research, pedophilia is an unchangeable sexual orientation, just like, for example, heterosexuality. No one chooses to be a pedophile. No one can cease being one. The difference between pet. She said no one chooses to be that. So you just born natively feeling that way once you become of age, right? See, that's why these devils are going to be soon taken out of power. These are not people that are e equipped to rule and govern in a world of, of, of righteousness. They're the total opposite. All right, the scriptures talk about, let me get it real quick. This is Psalms 52, verse 2. It says, Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Now, this, that's, this is the, the, the seed of the serpent. All right? They know how to talk a good game. They know how to craft certain words together to try to convince you of wickedness. All right? The same serpent that, that beguiled Eve now love is evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness, Salah. You know, and that's all you're going to hear from these devils, man. You're going to hear more evil come out of their lips than good because they're not a righteous people. The scriptures say in Habakkuk, the second chapter, that the, 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 the soul that is lifted up in them is not upright in them. So they're going to speak evil because that's more so their speed. That's their nature. Justifying sexualizing little children, and you see what they're doing with this agenda. All right, feeding them to pervs, all right, grooming them up, putting a putting an agenda early in their in their schools. All right. This man gotta go. There's no way to justify or rationalize this kind of Lifestyle and behavior is sick. But this is a sick uh, uh, people. That's why, you know, I started off by quoting he uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. That's what Apostle Paul said about them, that they're profane and they're fornicators. Or profane, meaning they're, they're um, you know, they're, they're wicked. They're unhallowed people. They're ungodly. And also, hold on, let me get this real quick. Because the Lord allow for a demon like that to get on you, but it's not the Heavenly Father himself who, you know, he, 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 he made you do it. You can't put that on the most side. This is uh, James 1 and verse 13. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the most high. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. So it's, it's all from within. All right. Then when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin and sin when it is finished, bringeth forth death. All right. And you, you are not innocent. You touch a child and take away his innocency. You are guilty, man. And 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 that def that definitely warrants a death sentence. All right. So listen to this demon. Pedophilia and other sexual orientations is that living out this sexual orientation will end in a disaster. 
right now, most of us feel discomfort when we think about this scenario. And most of us feel discomfort when we think about pedophiles. But just like pedophiles, we are not responsible for our feelings. We do not choose them. But we are responsible for our actions. And we must make a decision. It is an our responsibility to reflect and to overcome our negative feelings about pedophiles and to treat them with the same respect we treat other people with. This is this is completely fucking absurd. This is insane, man. So we're supposed to treat them as normal, regular people. This is what this woman is saying here. All right, a, a, a grown as physical uh, adult that uh, sex, sexualizes and abuses the mind and body of a of a young child is supposed to be uh, considered as normal, and we're supposed to treat them with the same respect of a normal individual. You you got to be out your fucking skull, seriously. But this is what they're saying. Oh, boy. I can't wait till this shit is all over with. This is Isaiah 5. And verse 20, it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter this place is totally wicked man and that's basically what she's doing she's saying let's call evil good only the devil only the serpent man now the fear of the most high is to hate evil all right these people clearly don't fear the heavenly father Yeah, Psalms 97 verse 10, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. All right, and it is about time for the Lord to, to put away, you know, stop this, uh, this wicked devil, man. Was that Psalms? Yeah, Psalm 7 verse 9, it says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous power triumph the hearts and reigns. All right. And, and he saw he's he's showing every day him and his descendants, you know, man, and male and female. They're showing that they're the wicked man. They're the border of wickedness in whom the Lord will have indignation forever. This is why he's going to destroy his whole empire, his world. Because it's just too much, man. Too much insanity. Too much unrighteousness. Now they, and, and this is what the the elites they they they're slowly but surely leaking this type of rhetoric into the curriculum, so that this type of thing can be normalized. You see, this is getting this is this is too much, man. All right. This is, let me get a, yeah, Isaiah 26, and verse 10, it says, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness, it's just not in him. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. All right, because it's just not in him to, to, to learn righteousness. They're, they're totally the opposite. Or like it says in uh, Jeremiah 13, can, a, can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? So are they to do good that are accustomed to do evil. It just ain't in them. All right, so they're going to justify being wicked. And any of our people that, that, that take hold of any of this crap, you know, you're just as wicked, man. And it tells you that about our people that even though they were they're part of that righteous uh, seed, a lot of them are seduced by the wicked. Yeah, Proverbs 12 and 26 says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, 
but the way of the wicked seduces them. You know, their ways, you know, takes them away from the path, the path of righteousness. You know? Because to a simpleton, this will make sense to you and you'll start to really consider and now the the the, uh, the, the Jimmy Civil, uh, Civils and um, the Jeff Epstein's, and all of a sudden, you know, they 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 might be all right. You know, they just you know they couldn't control themselves. They have feelings. They're human, just like us. So they're pretty much trying to open up Pandora's box. All right, to 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 extend that alphabet soup. With, with that extra P at the end. We always said that that P at the end was, was silent. You, you normally don't see the P, but it's there. And they've been working on it, you know, for, for a minute now. It's only a matter of time. They coming for the, for the, for the children, man. So if you got children that's in grade school, you know, if, if, if you can help it, you might want to take them out and, and homeschool them. Or vet everything that they're learning in them damn uh, institutions, man. This is this is completely insane, and that's why this hey, this world is is hasting to, to to pass away quickly. And I won't play any more of it, man. There's more to it, but I'm pretty sure y'all already vexed and discussed it, but. You know, I thought I'd, uh, you know, just just bring this out because this, you know, I came across this. This was actually a TikTok video, but I went to actually go find it on YouTube. And as you can see, you know, this is uh, on uh, YouTube. So this was uh, what, three years ago. And you see the agenda since then, you know, putting, you know, the, the, the Disney execs and the, the different people that work at Disney telling you openly what the agenda is. They want they they're coming for the children, man. So this is another reason they hasten the coming of the day of the Lord. All this shit, all the works is going to be burnt up. And we look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwell righteousness. All right. So you know, that, that that's pretty much it, man. I I just had to. You know, speak on that. All right. And, um, you know, I'll, 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 Lord willing, I'll, um, you know, come with something later. I got to hit the plantation. But, uh, Lord willing, y'all brothers and sisters were edified. And, uh, you know, I hope this didn't ruin y'all day, man. You know, still enjoy your, uh, your Shabbat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, send your prayers up. Hell, and even, uh, send up the curses, man. That, that's another excuse, you know, send them up on this place, man. All right, we 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 hoping that the Lord finally bring the destruction of this place, and, he, and that's why He's increasing the plagues. As a matter of fact, I'll end off with this. This is why the Lord is increasing them plagues on this place, man. The Lord is sending heat waves, scorching heat. All right, making a drought even worse. People about to be without power, shortage of food. Yeah, the Lord's going to turn this thing up, man. Second Ezra 15 and uh, 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. This is why. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, especially the profane individual as E, who's in, who's in power. He, he lets it go on because this is his world. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. And guess what? The Lord hears those uh, prayers. He hears those cries. So he's going to do exactly that, man. He's going to execute. All right. So anyway, with that, call Lord Yahweh Shai to the next lesson. Shalom.